Hey guys, in this video, I got something really special. I came down to the studio and look what I found. This is the XRT from Traxxas. This is their new fifth scale monster that's built basically on the X-Max platform with some adjustments. Now, this is a birthday present from Tina and the last time she did this, she got me the X-Max, the one up on top shelf there, and she did it again. So this is the latest birthday present from my wife who, Tina is the greatest wife a person could ever ask for. She is absolutely wonderful and it has nothing to do with this. She takes part in the whole hobby deal. She likes the channel and all the stuff that goes on around here. And that's rare in its own right. But just the support she gives us here is amazing. She's my best friend and always will be. So in this video, we're going to get this thing out of the box and we're going to have a look at what makes it different than the X-Max. Then we're going to take it out and test it. Then we're going to ask our four questions. Is it fun? Is it durable? Is it worth the money? And where does it stack up in our collection? Guys, this one's going to be a blast. Check this out. All right, so the tape on the box is already cut and on the back side it says this is the first shipping. So this was the only one, according to what I was told, this is the only one the store had in stock. So it is what it is. We're not going to do a complete box and all that stuff. We're just going to slip it out and get into the car right away. So let's, I haven't seen it yet. I just know the ends open. So let's slide it out and see what's involved. You know, being fifth scale, Makes me wonder how that's packed in there. Okay. I knew it. I knew it wouldn't be able to fit in there the way it was. Take a look at how they boxed this up. All right, so what comes in the box here is a pretty basic packet, and we've got it laid out here real quick. You had a quick look at it, and it shows up with some number decals, and these look like blackouts for the wing. That's pretty cool there. It has a very rudimentary Allen set here, which is only three wrenches. And Traxxas likes to make everything proprietary, so here's a wrench to help get the wheels off, and it's indexed for these particular nuts, which are pretty much Traxxas only, so that's pretty Pretty good that they give you that. This here is a ring and pinion set to get you up to that 60 miles an hour. So this is the high speed gear set that they give you with it. And you install that, but if you're gonna run off road and do a lot of bashing, you run the high speed gear, you need to check your temperatures because it's gonna get a lot warmer running the high speed gears. We usually leave things the way they come out of the box to see what they're capable of. So we're gonna leave ours as is for now, but this does come with the kit, which is really nice. It comes with a little swag, talking about batteries and all that cool stuff. Now the radio is the TQI, and this one, it comes with most every one of the cars. Now there's variable styles, like the crawler has the switches on it for switching out the differentials and stuff. This one's pretty straightforward. But this one does have the enabled chip in the back, which means that you can use the app to set the settings on the car. Usually these work really well, so that should be just fine. Also, you get the warranty card with it, which is, you know, standard for registering the car and all that good stuff. You get a flyer here that tells you what direction to put the tires on because these are directional tires. You have a quick start guide, which covers how to set things up and get it running. But the one you really want to have is this one. And this is the one with the breakdown in it. So you can go through this and it'll show you all the part numbers, how things go together and so forth. This is the one you do not want to lose. So that's what comes in the box. All right, before we dig down inside of this monster, let's take a look at the size comparison with its brother, the X-Max and its little sibling, the Sledge. Now, 
The thing is, this vehicle right here looks like a mating between these two. It's got the styling of the sledge, but the size of the X-Max, which is kind of cool when you think about it. However, the sledge is nothing like the X-Max once you get the hood off because it's got the aluminum chassis and all that stuff. Whereas the tub chassis, which is all plastic on the X-Max, shares a lot in common with this one. So basically this is a squat down X-Max as far as that goes. And I'm sure there's a lot of special components that make it do this, but it really does look like a perfect marriage between the two. And more than once when we were out playing with the sledge, I wished they made a bigger one. Here it is. Now footprint for footprint, the wheels and everything seem to be like exactly the same as far as the wheelbase goes. This one seems to be a little bit wider than the X-Max. It's got the same basic styling in the bumper, although it's been slimmed down. It's a little bit different than this one. And the wing on this one is really reminiscent of the sledge wing, which I am a great fan of that wing. It is a real limber and fun wing. It doesn't rip and tear the way some of the other ones do, and it seems to hold up real well. The thing is, when we put these tires on, I know they're gonna fit this one, and I really wanna see what the X-Max does with the XRT tires on it and vice versa. I wanna stick those on this one and those on that one. And we'll do that in a later video. But for this one, we're gonna run this as it came out of the box. I just wanted to get them side by side and have a look. Now, we're gonna do a quick fly over here and show you both of these. And then we're gonna show you the same thing with the bodies off so you can see the difference. Check this out. All right, so now let's get down inside of this and have a really close look at it. But first, let's check out the body. Now, the sledge has a, it's a clipless system here where you just pull on this little tab and the body picks up in the back and slides off a hook in the front. My understanding is this has basically the same thing with no hook in the front. So it's got two in the back here and they're little tabs that you just grab onto. Let's see, where are they? Right there. And they lift. Do the same thing in the front and they're right there and it's off just like that it's a pretty system a pretty easy system as far as that goes i hope it holds good we'll find out about that the body itself is pretty stunning looking i like the the design you know they're getting better and better at these paint jobs it's just amazing what they can do this is hard plastic this is plastic that's plastic this is plastic not part of the shell these are add-in pieces for the skeleton Plastic throughout here, plastic across there, so it's got some strengthening to it all the way through. These inlaid pieces really do give it a cool look. It does look really cool, and there's vents in the front and over the top to help get some cooling down for the motor and speed control and that kind of thing. The roll bar and skid plate on top is a good idea. All in all, a pretty well-designed body. It does feel a lot like the X-Max as far as weight, length, and width goes, so there's that. Okay, so the truck itself, it looks a lot like the X-Max as far as the drivetrain goes, the motor placement, the speed control, the radio box, and the servo being buried beneath that. The steering setup is also in basically the same place. And the chassis is real similar to what the X-Max has as well, although it's not in set here. It is ugh, straight across. So it doesn't have that lift the way the X-Max does to give it a little more clearance. This one is flat across there, which should help in the buggy situation. Still, it does have the flat track style tires on it. And my understanding is those don't swell nearly as much as its brother. These swell up pretty good. These are almost to the point of being a belted tire. And they do work well from what I've seen, but I'm gonna reserve judgment until we actually run this for ourselves. Still, the shock absorbers look substantial, although I understand they're a little different than the ones on the X-Max as well. The battery trays are very much the same. And let's see, push in and rock up, install your battery snap it back down and there are two slots right here they're little pinholes 
And let's see, do I have one here? Will it take a hood pin? And it does. So you can get a hood pin. Now this is just a little tiny hood pin. But you can put a hood pin right there and then it won't open. So a little hood clip here, hood clip back there, and the battery tray will not open. X-Maxes have a real problem with spitting the batteries out. And this is just a small hood clip. But the bigger ones will fit as well. Up to 10th scale, I think it'll take that. So that's a real nice feature that they had added onto the sledge. And I really like that. One of the most frustrating things is when you come down off of a serious like mogul and you get some air and you come down a little askew, the X-Max has a tendency before I modified it to spit the batteries out and you couldn't lock those down. In this one here, it actually has these drilled spots that locks the battery tray down. Very cool. The other problem that I have with the battery trays, the way Traxxas does it, is you are kind of limited to the size of battery that you can put in there. I don't know. I've got some really nice batteries I want to run in it. We'll see if they fit. In the X-Max, we went ahead and changed everything over to Velcro. Haven't lost a battery that way. And you can put bigger ones in it, which a car of that size, the bigger batteries didn't seem to affect handling all that much. This one, we might have to do the same thing here. But first, we'll have to see if there is a problem in the first place. All right, guys, with all that behind us, there's only one thing left to do. Let's take this thing out and test it. Check this out.
Okay guys, so there's the running footage for the Traxxas XRT, and it is a very cool vehicle. I had a really good time with it, and being as this was a birthday present and I was born in the winter, it is winter. So on these first videos like this, we deal with whatever weather we have here. This one got run in the snow, and that's not a really good gauge for how good the truck is, because even when we have the X-Max, which is up on the top there, even when we got that out on a birthday present situation, um, at the same time, it wasn't all that thrilling right off the bat because the tires spin in the snow so much you can't get a real grip on how performance-based the truck can be. Once we got X-Max out on regular dirt where there was no snow and whatnot, it became much more exciting to play with. However, even in the snow, that one was fun. It felt a lot like its brother, the X-Max, and it performed very well. It handled very much the same way. And since we were running in snow, we tried it at first with the stock tires, but those don't handle the snow as well. They don't have as big a lug and they just sort of spin way more. The car doesn't go very fast and it wasn't all that exciting. The driveway footage, there was quite a bit of that footage, but everything was kind of slow due to the tires and the snow load that we were running in. We switched it over to the actual X-Max tires and it worked much better it handled the snow better they do they have been proven to be a good tire in the snow and it did did make a big difference so the majority of the footage that you saw was on the x max tires these ones here these are different yet these are really cool these are sledgehammers they're a belted tire from traxxas and they're the same tires that are on the sledge and we've had really good luck with those they're really nice being belted they won't swell like the other ones so it should keep the the amp draw down because as the tire swells the bigger it gets the more mass you have to turn it a wider diameter pulls more amps when you do that this shouldn't swell nearly as much and the amp draw should stay to what it should be and it should improve your battery life and when you spin those up it just takes a lot more amperage to move them and that's the way that goes and Forgive my voice, guys. It's winter. I'm going through a cold situation, but we're still getting it done. That being said, we had absolutely no problems with the truck at all. Everything functioned as advertised, and the batteries did fit in it really nicely. I put uh, my favorite packs in there, and there they are. We put those in there, and they fit really snugly, but they did fit, and so you can get batteries up to that size. These are a special battery and they have aluminum side plates in there. So it's basically a soft case, but it doesn't feel like it because it's got those aluminum plates. And the aluminum plates in these batteries are designed to help dissipate the heat so they don't fail as often as the batteries that you get in the plastic cases. The plastic doesn't dissipate the heat as well. We've had really poor luck with hard case batteries and these ones have held up nicely thus far. All right, that being said, let's get into some of the specifics about it. Now, this has a pretty cool clip system in it, and we just ran this, so the inside here isn't as clean as I'd like it to be, and it's frozen outside, so until I get a chance to clean it, that's what you get. But still, at the same time, the clip system in here, we did car wheel and tumble this quite a bit, and it held up very nicely. It, like I said, it needs to be cleaned, but at the same time, it never once popped off. Even with some pretty good endos and nose dives, it held up pretty well. So that in itself is really cool. That held up good. The motor seems to have plenty of power for the situation. The speed control handled perfectly. The radio had no glitches and the steering servo held up really good. And just to touch on those tires again, 
The sledgehammers, we haven't run this particular set yet. We just got them. We ordered them in. They just came in. So we put them on the car. We haven't had a chance to actually run those. So we can't speak to how good those are. All I can say is we've run that design on 10th scale and 8th scale. And in both those scales, they perform beautifully. And here's a look at some of those. They do handle really well. They're a nice tire and they hold up good. However, on this one, we haven't actually had a chance to do anything with this. We did go ahead and tape off the inside so it wouldn't take any snow load and fill them with water. So we did that for this particular setup. Also, the ones that we had on the X-Max were a fairly old set of tires and they were out of balance. And if you noticed, you saw the arms shaking a little bit back and forth. And what happened was if you feel around the tire, you can tell that some of the foam packed down into one spot and that makes it out of balance and those are pretty much junk now. However, as long as you take good care of your tires and you try to keep them from taking a whole bunch of water and stuff and they can break down that foam, they should hold up a lot better. That being said guys, it's time for our four questions and if you watch the channel, you know what they are. Is it fun? Is it durable? Is it worth the money? And where does it stack up? This one might surprise you. Let's get on with it. Okay, question number one. Is this thing fun? Well, absolutely this thing's fun. It's big, it's fast, and it's pretty stable. As wide as it is, as long as it is, the size tires. Now, swapping the tires was important. It was a necessary thing to do, and I really am impressed with the look of these. So if they, if they perform anything like the smaller versions of these, we're gonna love these tires. Still, the X-Max tires are proven, so swapping over from that made this a lot more fun, but only because of our adverse conditions up here in the Northwest. Dealing with snow and that type of thing, you need something that's got a lot more bite to it, something that'll grow. Um, and the stock tires that came with that were more of a street tread and didn't really do the job. But that's just for the conditions we have here. Get it out on some regular groomed area or roadway or anything like that and they're going to really scream. We have them sitting on the X-Max up there right now and they are a really cool tire but for this application they didn't really function the way I wanted them to. Also along the side of the truck here they have these two rails and these the body sits on and we took those off. Um, we did the same thing with the X-Max because the body tends to clap down on them and it sounds terrible when you land but also the body pooches out and hangs up on them and then it looks goofy anyway and you have to reset the body to get it in on them so we just took those off and we did that on the x-max as well and it worked out pretty good as far as the rating for this goes we're going to give this one nine out of ten for fun because you know this one is really reminiscent of the creighton 8s which is sitting at the top of our leaderboard right now however this one right here is so close and yet we ran it and had absolutely no failings in the truck at all. We didn't run just one battery. We ran quite a few through this thing and it really did hold up good. It's in the snow, it's hard to tell how fast it's gonna be, but for our first impression, this one gets nine out of 10 for fun. And question number two, is this thing durable? Well, we literally broke nothing. It's really cold outside. Last night was eight degrees and we've been running in some pretty cold conditions. And this held up nicely, so the cold weather didn't seem to affect the plastic all that much. We did cartwheel tumble and crash into stuff. We didn't intentionally try to break it. That's just not how we do things here. We run it as hard as we can. We do try to maneuver around anything, any obstacle that's going to be a problem. We do try to land everything correctly. So if we do come down hard, that's okay. We, we just don't aim for that. As far as that goes, we literally broke nothing. There's absolutely no broken parts on this. We did run several battery packs through it and it held up beautifully. That being the case, since we had no failings, we're gonna give this one 10 out of 10 for durability, simply because it did hold up and we weren't playing nice. All right, question number three, is this thing worth the money? Well, that's kind of a crappy question, don't you think? Considering this was a birthday present, didn't cost me anything, but it did cost us as a family because we had to fit this into our budget. So this thing was fairly expensive from what I understand. And I think I would have bought one anyway, whether I'd have got it for my birthday or not. Like I said, I have the best wife in the universe. She understands me and she supports me in everything I do. Everything we're doing here at the channel, she's behind it 100% and you can't ask for better than that. 
she was willing to get this one and of course she gets credit for getting me the X Max as well because she knows me she knows what I like and she helps to support that therefore these are on the bench that we get to share with you which is very cool is this worth the money though well if I ran the X Max out in the road and it got hit by a dump truck and turned into bits and pieces I'd go buy another one because it's that good is this one the same <laughs> yes it's the same only this one I see as better would I get the chance to put this on the ramp guys when we get this one into the brutal review you're gonna see some really cool stuff in the short term straight out of the box I really like this truck and is it is it worth the money for the value of it this Traxxas wants a lot for their rigs guys they just do but do you get what you pay for well here's the thing and I say this a lot during these kind of things but at the same time if you if you have the money and this is what you're looking for I think it's worth the money I really do but if money's tight and for a lot of us right now with the prices that are going on around us money is tight for a lot of us and if money is tight it may not be worth it just because of the cost involved it's not just the truck okay so you get the truck the radio and all that cool stuff you still have to have batteries you still have to have the charger a toolkit if you're new to the hobby all this stuff adds up and it, and it becomes a pretty significant cost and you can't I just couldn't justify buying that and being hungry for a month that just doesn't work for me so it depends on your situation as always and the choice as always is up to you guys but for me as a, as a measure of value for what you get we had no failings in the truck it did exactly what I wanted it to it handled very well it appears to be quite durable and it shares a lot of parts with the X Max which means a lot of parts will be available out there for it so for me as kind of a fair balance rating I'm gonna give this one 8 out of 10 for value because it is a lot of money but you do get a lot of truck and question number four where does this stack up in our collection well this is straight out of the box this isn't even a hardcore bash it crazy type of video but at the same time you can usually tell when you start playing with something whether that's going to work for you or not and that's true this one here right out of the box you know initially it felt a little slow they did give us a different gear set to put in it and maybe we'll put that in one day but here at the channel we like to keep things how should i put this as stock as possible on the drivetrain if you see this going fast on the camera and you watch how quick it is if you get one out of the box yours should do that too that's the whole point we do that we do like them to go faster and everything but we like to represent what you get for your money and that's what we do here as far as this goes it felt a little slow but so did the X Max when it came out of the box because we ran both of them in snow because we get them in the winter because that's when my birthday is so that's how that works out at the same time knowing that fact knowing that this felt very much like the X Max only it's a much more stable version it's squat down it's a little wider it's a little longer it's just a little more of what the X Max is and it's a little less of what bothered me about the X Max and what that is is the X Max has a really tall center of gravity so getting in the corners it likes to tip and you can run it up on two wheels if you're a pretty skilled driver but at the same time it'll overspin the insides and eventually it comes down anyway or you roll it and it kind of limits what you can do in the corners this one suffers less from that it is still just as powerful it's just as much fun to watch run and it's very controllable which is a good thing for me so with all that in mind in this short-term situation as far as we've only had this for a while now this one's going to take over third place from its brother the X Max It's going to shift everyone else down the line so taking over third place straight out of the box guys the XRT from Traxxas place number three so hey guys this is where I usually ask you to subscribe like and share and all that cool stuff but in this video I'm just going to ask you to bash that like button you know hitting the like button helps our content swell and grow to other people so that they can see what we've learned as well and that's what we're based on here we're trying to help as many people as possible I don't go out and watch a whole bunch of videos to see what's the problem we run this car 
and we report what that went through. We don't spread gossip. If it didn't happen to us, we only report what happened. Now, if you guys have an XRT and you've done some modifications or learned some things that we haven't, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below and help others along the way. Hey guys, for AJ Jam Studios, I'm AJ saying, keep bashing guys. Thank <laughs> you.